What's up, guys? We got another gun here to review. This is one of my other babies here. This is a Smith & Wesson 686 357 Plus with a 3-inch barrel. That means that you can shoot 357 Magnums or 38 Specials out of this baby. Fuck, that's a nice gun. Look at this thing, man. You don't like this gun, there's something wrong with you, man. It's just something something different about a revolver. It's just look at that. Yeah, baby. That is a fucking badass gun right there. Always wanted a revolver, but there's so many choices out there, you know? with this one man this one just the moment I grabbed it and I held it I just knew how to have it how does it shoot fucking amazing if you put 38 specials in it it feels like BBs you know you put 357 rounds in it 357 magnums and it does what it's supposed to do. It shoots straight. God, I love this gun. I hate assholes that just slam the drum. They don't know that that's really, really bad for it. You should never do that. I'll show you the rounds here. Yep. Look at these babies, dude. God, can you imagine getting hit by one of these fuckers? I don't want to get shot, period, but fuck, look at that. Holy crap. Look at this. This is a it's a 380. So it's like a smaller 9 mm. Like compared to that. Shit. Look at this thing here. Just a beautiful gun. Very easy to move. Now when you're loading the gun, most revolvers are going to take six rounds. And I know a lot of purists out there are like, no, no, if it doesn't have six rounds, it's not a real revolver. I don't give a fuck. It's got an extra fucking round. It's got seven rounds. So the more the merrier. When you remove it, you can easily use this here to expel your rounds. Now, once in a while, you're going to get one of them that is just going to expand and it actually gets stuck in there. It's happened to me before. It's not the end of the world. What you should do is you should have, um, I don't know, a little pen handy and stick it in here and it'll remove it. Don't try to use any metals because it's going to end up messing up your chamber there or your drum, whatever you want to call it. Another tip, guys, please, like I said earlier, don't grab this gun or when you get a revolver and spin it and then slam it. You shouldn't do that. Why do people do that? Because they see it in the cowboy movies. You see somebody grab a revolver and then he starts spinning it and then he just slams it. So that's what guys do. Well, it ends up messing up your drum 
and your whole mechanism here. So it's going to be more expensive to fix. You should take care of your gun. You should. There you go. Ease it in there. There's no reason to slam it. I mean, it's just not cool. That way, you always ensure that it spins nice and that it won't wiggle. I mean, look at this thing. This is a really beautiful gun. Look at this. Comparison wise. Oh, fuck. Well, trust me. It's a really big round. These here are hollow points, and I got some other. Honority? 357 Magnums. I mean, I, when I've gone camping, I've taken it. And they say you shouldn't shoot a bear if you don't have like a fucking 500 Magnum or bear gun. But, I mean, with one of these, if you hit a bear, you're going to fucking hurt them. They say you shouldn't, but that's just my personal opinion. Don't hold me to it. I don't want to get sued by you. Because you fucking hit a bear, then he starts raping you in the tent. So, don't shoot a bear out there, okay? That's just me. I see a bear, I fucking shoot his ass with this. Because why? It's better than nothing, and it's a fucking 357 Magnum, so I'm sure it's going to hurt him. Well... Well, I'm going to make a video of, it, of me shooting it, and then I'll post it back up on the website. Um, Price-wise, let me see. Yeah, I still have it here somewhere. Sorry. It was like 800 and something dollars, I think. There you go. Now, if you guys can see it there, it's $891. Yeah. It's an expensive gun. But you know what? Who cares? It's only money. Besides, if you ever want to sell it, I'm sure you're not going to lose your ass off. And I always wanted one of these. I just didn't want a big old, you know, Joker gun. Yeah. This is a beauty. All right, man. Thanks for watching.